Octoverse is now out, so, you know, all the nerds rejoice. GitHub Copilot Coding Agent opened over 1 million PRs already in 2025. For each one of those 1 million PRs, there was a developer that said, this is what I'm trying to do. Here's some contextual information, go. And so developers are very much in charge of what work gets assigned, how it gets scoped. 80% of new developers touch Copilot the first week. That is a great example of developers starting their partnership with AI earlier and earlier. When I think about where things are going, I think a lot of it will come down to what skills developers need to invest in. Some skills that are very important already continue to be critical. And then there are some net new skills that developers are building already. Developers are bringing up AI fluency a lot. Right? They might not call it that way, but they describe building judgment and intuition and understanding of what tools can and cannot do, because it's not obvious. Most tools don't come out of the box declaring what they can do. Developers need to find that out. People who have experimented a lot with AI, one of the things that has adjusted over time is also their sentiment around it. As they were working with AI and got a better view of what it is able to do, but also what their role is, the idea of handing off a lot of implementation becomes less scary and more optimistic. They see their own role morphing into something else. Someone described their new role as a creative director of code, and I think that that captures it perfectly. We have now report after report coming out, and they show that the level of AI adoption is undeniably high. They also show that there's a lot of reported productivity gains on the individual level. Once you step outside of that, and you start wanting to look at the team and organization level, it all becomes way more blurry all of a sudden. When we look at AI adoption actually helping with organizational performance, it all comes from organizational level investments. It was about an organization having a healthy data ecosystem that is hooked up to the AI tools. It was about a organization having a robust internal pl platform. These are not things that are on the individual level. So I think that we've done all we could and we've seen all the benefits that we can see on the individual level. And now it's the team and the, the organization level that needs to make the transformation and the changes. I only touched on a couple of data points from the 2025 State of the Octoverse report, but I really think it's worth a read because there is more to it than what I mentioned. There's a ton there about how the programming languages landscape is evolving. There's also a lot about how the developer population is expanding. I think that there's a lot in the report that is interesting data points and good things for people to have in mind. So definitely worth the read, check it out.